Happy VA Wednesday. So last week I was talking about when FHA could be better than VA. And I was like, there's only one way it could ever be. And in the middle of the video I went, oh shit, there's two. So today we're gonna be talking about the second reason FHA can be better than VA. Now I covered in the first video last week, like is FHA better if you're a veteran because the realtor says it's better? No. Is FHA better because it's quicker or easier, sellers like it more? No. Is FHA gonna save you money over VA? Nope. Um, however, FHA has a couple unique areas. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today is the other reason FHA can be more beneficial than VA. Um, in certain circumstances, once again. So first of all, if you guys like the video, please hit a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You will learn so much about real estate. You can end up being a mortgage lender just like me, or a real estate agent, or just someone who's overly informed for the office cooler talk, which, you know, who doesn't wanna be that person? Um, okay, here we go. I'm excitable today, I know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like, I don't know, it's fall. I don't know, pumpkin spice lattes. Okay. So, when can FHA make sense over VA? Multi-units. Yeah, I wanna get real about multi-units. So, I would say, like, we always have my calendar open, and Alyssa does most of those calls. I do the super complicated ones, because most of my time is spent, like, once you guys fill out an application with us, and we have you fully underwritten, that's when I usually come in, and we spend half an hour to an hour on the phone, and I deal with all the stuff, like, if stuff gets real, you know? But the basic questions is gonna be Alyssa. Um, but I always look at the calendar to see what people are asking, and something I see a lot of is VA multi-units and here's where it's frustrating okay as a lender because look I want to do loans you guys know I want to do loans I want to be out here on this you know YouTube 24 hours a day unless I wanted to do loans I wanted to help you guys and VA on multi-units there's a guideline and it's firm where in order to use rental income you need six months of reserves and two-year landlord history or a property manager okay it is incredibly rare that I see those things come together. So generally when I'm qualifying a veteran for a multi-unit, I am qualifying them without using rental income, okay? Now in certain circumstances, that can be great. However, that's not what most people want. What I see a lot of is like, hey, like I can afford $1,000 a month, but the payment's gonna be three, but the rent's gonna be four, so can I use that? And with VA, without those reserves, you know, and without either a property manager or a two-year rental history, I can't use it, okay? FHA, I can. So let's talk about FHA and multi-units real quick here. So FHA, if it's a duplex, so easy. So easy, guys. It's 3.5% down. Yes, you're going to have mortgage insurance. Yes, you're going to have upfront mortgage insurance premium. Yes, it is more expensive than VA. Okay, let's be real clear about that because I don't want any confusion. However, if you have to have the rental income to qualify, okay, FHA would be the option. So if you're like, Jen, I don't have six months reserves. I've got enough for three and a half percent down, but I don't have six months reserves. FHA is gonna be the option if you need that rental income to qualify. Now with FHA, you can do three and a half percent down up to a four unit. The three and four unit, however, have a self-sustainability test that has to be met, which basically means the units will pay the mortgage without your income being involved, which, I mean, here's the thing, like as an investor, that's the goal. Is that always the reality? No. So it can be pretty hard to have stuff meet that self-sustainability test. Um, however, you know, if you're looking for a two unit, you need the rental income to qualify. You don't have what you need for VA, but you do have some money for a down payment for FHA. It can be a really great option to explore. So I think the most important takeaway from this is, look, you guys know I'm diehard VA every day. If VA is going to make sense, that is the loan we're going to do. But at the same point when I'm talking to clients, I'm not just thinking about one loan type, right? I do VA, I do FHA, I do conventional, I do a little USDA, and I do jumbo. I do it all. So when I'm looking at your scenario, I'm actively thinking about how to get you to the end goal. And that's what you guys want to be really careful with. You know, a lot of times when people are looking at a VA loan, they go, oh, I should use, you know, 
XYZ because they have veterans or military or Navy, whatever it is in the title. But when you're talking to lenders like that, they're not thinking about options outside of VA, okay? And look, is VA an amazing loan? Hell yeah! But are there a couple scenarios where another loan program will get you to your goal? Yeah, yeah. And you wanna make sure you're working with a lender that understands those other options and can provide them as an expert, not as someone who's trying to figure it out. So I hope this video has been helpful. All, as always, excuse me, <laughs> um, I'm licensed in 48 states to do loans, guys. I wanna help you, my team wants to help you. You know, check out our Google reviews. We care about getting the job done. So I'm licensed everywhere but Rhode Island and Utah. One day I will do those, but hit me up. Get on my calendar, talk to Alyssa. You know, call me, I, I do call back my cell phone. Alyssa calls it back a lot if I get busy, but otherwise it's me. Text me, text messages are a little bit delayed. I'll be honest on that one, because sometimes there's days where I'm like, woo! Um, but look, I'm here to help you guys, but I just want you guys to start thinking outside of the box. I am as pro VA as they come, but there are sometimes other options that can make more sense. So thanks for watching. I'm going to drink less caffeine and circle back with you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thanks.